reformed in the Gulf of Mexico. It's a tropical depression. It is expected to become a hurricane before it makes landfall along the Texas coast. So here is a look at that forecast track, and I want you to notice the cone. The cone lets you know where a storm or a hurricane is expected to go two out of three times. One out of three times, it can be outside of the cone. So as we look at this very large cone going out in time, one, it lets you know that there's a lot of uncertainty, and two, it lets you know, gosh, the center could actually be outside of that cone. This is the global forecast model. Look at how it brings it to the coast late Friday into Saturday. That's a whole lot of rain. And then here we are Sunday. It's still in the same place. Here we are Monday close to the same place. Let me tell you, Southeast Texas is going to be pounded with rain. I don't advise going there in the foreseeable future. Tuesday, still over Southeast Texas. And then here we are Wednesday. Notice how it always stays close to the coast. That means that some of the circulation could be over water. Water is the energy source. That's why it's not totally going to die down. And then it's shooting off to the Northeast. This is the European model. It's very similar. Here we are Saturday, Southeast Texas. Again, Sunday, similar location. And then possibly swinging out into the Gulf. There is that potential. And then Wednesday, it's shooting off to the northeast. So how much rain can we expect? Well, obviously, the heaviest rain is going to be over Texas. That's where there is truly the potential for life-threatening flooding, which is why I'm advising you know, you don't need to go there right now. And then as you go over towards southeast Louisiana and south Mississippi, the rainfall amounts are totally going to depend on where Harvey goes. And you saw that big cone. There is a lot of uncertainty, but the potential for five to 10 plus inches of rain. What we have is a front that's to the north that's going to move to the coast and it's going to stall. That's going to act as a focus for the rain. Here is a look at our visible satellite imagery. Look at that. You can see the circulation very clearly. Not as much precip on the west side. That's because there is dry air. Just adding in so that you can see exactly where the center is. This thing is barely moving northwest two miles per hour. So there is a look at the hurricane uh, watch and also the tropical storm watch. We have very warm water that this thing is going to travel over. We can zoom in and these forecast models indicating a whole lot of uncertainty. This is the hurricane watch in pink. The hurricane uh, tropical storm watch is in yellow. And did you see that? Wait, let's go back just for a second. This is Saturday, this is Sunday, this is Monday. I mean, the thing is not moving. For us, we've got a little bit of rain. There's the cold front that's to the north. It's not going to make us colder. It's going to help with our rain chances. Some showers right there uh, to the south of the city moving up towards the Zolomans now. We had a couple of sprinkles over towards Slidell, and we do have that rain along the Mississippi Gulf Coast. But the rain today was more along the coast. Here is a look at another forecast model, and it's basically showing the system moving to the west-northwest, and it brings it more into Mexico, which shows that there is not a lot of agreement in some of these models. Our concern is this front that stalled right over southeast Louisiana and south Mississippi, acting as a focus for rain. So tomorrow, sure, there's going to be some rain and thunderstorm activity. Friday, pretty much the same forecast, more clouds. But it's Saturday and Sunday, rain chances begin to go up. My big concern day is going to be Monday, possibly into Tuesday.